Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Microsoft and their web browser, Microsoft Edge, which is the absolute best web browser for shopping. We are gonna tell you guys all about that in just a little bit. But for now, why don't we get into what this video is all about? On today's video, we're gonna talk about the farm. And we finally have a for sure plan for at least one thing on the farm. But let's talk about why we bought the farm when we did and what we were originally thinking for the farm. When we bought the piece of property that we are now calling the farm, mm -hmm. it was purchased with the mindset that we were going to turn it into a wedding venue. This was back in 2019, right? That's right. So we were gonna do a wedding venue. It was gonna be massive. There was already a 4,800 square foot metal building on the property that we were gonna convert into the wedding venue. And then the pandemic happened. And once the pandemic happened, we decided that we were not gonna move forward with the wedding venue. We felt like there were too many things up in the air and in investing that much money into an event space that brought hundreds of people together was not a smart decision. That being said, we have decided to revisit that concept. However, we are gonna do it at a much smaller scale than we originally had thought. If you remember, at the front of the property, we have a very small pavilion and when we bought the property, the pavilion was in very bad shape and most people would have torn it down, but you know me, I like a challenge. And so we began slowly renovating the pavilion. We started by clearing all of the overgrown shrubbery around the pavilion. Last year, we had someone install a brand new roof and we have updated the electrical and changed out the fuse box to a breaker box. So we have slowly invested into the pavilion, not really sure what we were gonna do with it, but knowing that we wanted to do something with it. I have been throwing around the idea to Thomas that what if we did do the event space, but we did it at the pavilion. It would be much smaller. The pavilion is only 24 by 60. It is an outdoor space. And I think it would be a great first step for us to invest into it because worst case scenario, the business does not work and we end up with a usable space for our family for right. holidays and uh, barbecues, birthday parties, and it's close to our sheep lot so it could function as a barn, worst case scenario. One thing that kind of really pushed us into committing to turning it into a small event space is that I was talking to my cousin and her sister, my other cousin, <laughs> is pregnant with her first baby mm. and she was talking about having to have a baby shower for my cousin Rachel. And I was so excited when she said that. And I was like, well, let's do it here. It'll give me a reason to finish the pavilion. The only problem with that is that we are less than two months away from hmm. the baby shower. Hmm. So luckily we have slowly been renovating the pavilion over the last two years, but it's time to get it finished which means we have got to come up with a design plan. Mm -hmm. We have to come up with a floor plan, which will include a finished space that will have two bathrooms and an area that can serve as kind of like a meal prep. It won't be a kitchen, but it may have a refrigerator in there, maybe a sink. But if you have an event that's catered, I wanna have an air conditioned space where you can put all the food and maybe serve from it. So those are things that we have to work on. I also know that we're gonna have a dining area in the covered portion of the pavilion, and we want to have like a lounge, comfy plush lounge area, but also it's an outdoor, outdoor indoor space, so it needs to be outdoor furniture. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of shopping to do, we have a lot of designing to do, and that is the fun part. We've talked about different ways of using the pavilion, whether it be like, lots of tables and chairs, or maybe just one really big table with chairs around that, kind of like a, what would that be, like communal eating yeah, type situation? Yeah, I, I love the idea of that. Just like a shared space where everyone comes together to share a meal. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about kind of some of the things that we know for sure that we're gonna be buying for the pavilion. We know that we want some type of 
seating for mm -hmm. lots of people, whether that be for the patio area or the covered pavilion space. We know that we want some dining area for food. We are definitely envisioning cafe style bistro lights either on the pavilion or a patio space off of the pavilion. I'm picturing really lush, plants and pots around it and really fun lighting features at nighttime like mm -hmm. maybe lights on the pavilion so we've got to start shopping for that stuff because we need to really get it ordered now so that by the time we're finished with the pavilion we can go ahead and stage it for the baby shower we haven't decided on paint colors yet we are leaning towards white or like a dark hunter green black Lately we've been like clashing over paint for some reason, or like our, our paint choice. Like I really want to go all white. We went to, there's this nursery in Florida that we both love and we visit every time we go. And they have kind of this outdoor space that's all white. Like the rafters are painted white and the exposed beams are painted white. And it's just, it was so bright and airy and just like fresh. I don't know, I loved it. And PJ is, oh, our dog is trying to get up here. PJ, I think is, you're envisioning maybe like a more dramatic take. I don't know, I don't know for sure. I've, I've seen it done both ways and I have pinned it both ways on, our, on my Pinterest board. I don't know yet. We haven't decided for sure on paint yet, but we're getting close for sure. We have to be close because it's almost that time. Exactly. Yeah, so whenever we get down to start making a list of the things that we need to buy for the pavilion. That's when the fun, I think, really starts to happen because who doesn't like shopping? Mm -hmm. um, and especially after the last year that we've all had, we've all been shopping online, I think, more than ever before because it is convenient and it's safe and it's just something that you can do from the comfort of your own home. That's where Microsoft Edge comes in. So Microsoft Edge is the best browser for shopping. And well, actually Microsoft Edge is the only browser with built-in tools to help you not only save time, but also save money while shopping online. And it has some really neat new features like coupons and proactive price comparison. So at its very core, Microsoft Edge saves you time and money and one of the ways it does that is with coupons. So the new coupons feature at Microsoft Edge makes it faster and easier to save money with built-in coupons. So the coupons are available at over 1,000 online retailers and Microsoft Edge will alert you if there are any coupons available for the site that you are shopping on. So you can view the list of coupons at any time by clicking on the blue shopping tag in the address bar at the top. Edge proactively surfaces these coupon codes when you are ready to check out. So all you have to do is copy and paste a code or have Edge try them all to determine which one will save you the most. So for example, we were looking at some outdoor blinds because we want to provide some kind of privacy and maybe also some shade. They may also act as like a sound barrier. So we found some blinds that we think would work. And if you just go up to the top here and click on the blue tag, you can see that there are quite a few coupons that were found. And these coupons could be for various things. It could be like, you know, take $10 off, or it could say, hey, we found this item cheaper on another site. And then all you have to do is click on that link and it'll take you to that other site and it just saves you time and money so you're not scrambling yourself and comparing prices. Microsoft Edge actually does it for you. Oh, this is actually also really neat too. So you can keep track of your wishlist items with collections. So with collections, you can create shopping lists right in the Edge browser. So you just click on the collections button on the address bar and you create a new collection and just add the links to all the items on your list. Once they are added, you'll be able to hit a compare price to other retailers button to see live price comparisons for your items and collections will flag the lowest price for you. Microsoft Edge is a very helpful tool for people like us who are constantly, you know, making lists of things that we need to purchase for our rental properties or in this case for our newest project, the Pavilion and it not only saves us time, but it saves us money and it helps us stay within budget because we see all of the prices laid out right there and we can compare which ones are going to ultimately save us the most money. 
So Microsoft Edge is free to download. You download it online and it saves to your computer and then you just start shopping right away. It is extremely user friendly and it's actually kind of fun to use because you never know what coupons you're going to find or how much money you're going to save, but you can rest assured that it absolutely makes your shopping experience so much better. So we want to give a huge thank you to Microsoft and Microsoft Edge for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna learn more about them, you can check out the link in our description below. At the end of the day, no matter what it ends up looking like, no matter if we go you know, white or dark, we just want it to all relate back to family and coming together um, with family and friends and just create a space that our family can enjoy, our friends can enjoy, and then maybe open it up one day for other families and other friends to come and enjoy. You guys know how much we love the farm and how much we, almost how much of like a saving grace it was last year for our family during the craziness that was last year. And so we really wanna extend that feeling to other people and have them share in our joy and our love for the farm. Another thing about the pavilion is that it is at the front of the property. So it's the first thing that you see when you get to the farm. So since we did not tear it down, we also want it to go from an eyesore to something a little bit more classy to look at. We have spent a lot of time in the 30A area of Florida in the Santa Rosa, Rosemary Beach area. And Rosemary Beach has really inspired a lot of the design when it comes to the pavilion. If you go to my Pinterest board, you're gonna see a lot of things that are pinned, specifically mm -hmm. that look like Rosemary Beach for the pavilion. And I'm really excited to just create a space that looks, looks and feels like a space that I would just love to be in. <laughs> I know, the, that area of Florida is like our favorite place to be but then the farm is also our favorite place to be. So if we can find a way to combine both of those, it'd be perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We cannot wait to take you along on renovating the pavilion. We also wanna give a huge thank you to Microsoft Edge for sponsoring today's video. Like always, you know where to find us. Until next time. Bye y'all.